Hey kids, Chuck here. It's the first week of summer and my summer fishing season has got off to a, a mixed start this year. Uh, I had my good buddy Brian on the boat who came down from New Hampshire. I haven't seen that dude in 30 years and he's never saltwater fished in Florida and he came down and uh, he got on them big jacks and had, uh, had a great time. But uh, in the process my trolling motor has died and also I've lost my favorite fishing pliers. So if you're interested in sponsoring my show here and you, you got trolling motors and fishing pliers, hook me up. You can contact me uh, in the link in the information section in the bottom of this video. Well, I'm out here drifting around the outside of the inlet. Bait's tough today. It was, all I could find was mud minnows and without a trolling motor it makes getting bait really difficult. At least for me, because that's how I get my bait. I go back into places where I need that trolling motor to pull the boat around and be stealthy and quiet. So I'm resorting to store-bought bait today. And I got the best store-bought bait in the world from Dave's Live Bait here in Fort Pierce. And he also has a boat in Stewart. So look him up at daveslivebait.com and he'll hook you up if you're in Stewart or in Fort Pierce and you're looking for some great baits and you don't want to chase them, you want to just buy some baits and go fishing, give Dave a call. Okay. I'm down here along the rock pile, I'm going to drift the outbound tide along the wall out to the point and around the other side. I'm use these great baits from Dave's live bait and, uh, and see what I can get going. Got a circle hook, going to be number four with some uh, 30 pound leader, I believe that's 30, 20 pound Andy backcountry mono, Shimano Stratic 6000 FI, and a star rod. One of my favorite rods for live bait. This is how we hook them. We hook them right through the nose, right through their nose hole, through the cartilage of their nose, just like that. And they'll stay alive a long time this way. You're not really hurting them. Now it's time to do some pilcher flipping. Fish on. That might be oh. Oh. That might have been cooters. That one almost got away. John. Another jack, man. I can't get away from these damn things. Yeah man, I'm back at the spot where New Hampshire Brian got his big jack and they're still here. I just wanted to validate what was going on. This might be a snook man. This might be a snook, kids. He came right to the shoreline, which is kind of unusual.
This is acting like a snook and Jack's going to want to run. Color. What is it? No, it Look at the size. That's a decent one. Not as big as Brian's, but... the mouth on that puppy. Alright, my batteries on the GoPros are dead, but I got me a really decent snook on these premium baits I paid for this morning. Decent snook, man. Hell yeah. baby oh yeah man oh hell yeah nice Fort Pierce inlet snook today oh yeah decent snook got him on a live pilchard a 3-0 lighter wire circle hook and anytime you're ready buddy anytime you're ready You always want to take enough time to revive them. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, man. Four Pierce Inlet. Right on.